episode one, you chose for John to fight the dragon empty-handed. This is complete bullshit. John knew that fighting the dragon empty-handed would most certainly end in his demise. But John, being the brave hero he is, remained foolishly optimistic. After all, what could possibly happen? He could have his limbs ripped off, be disembodied, or incinerated by the dragon's breath. Legend has it it's hotter than the heat of a thousand suns, or equal to the spiciest chili in the world, cooked by none other than gnomish chili cook-off winner Razzle Finkeldink, whose chili was known throughout the kingdom for melting a grown man's colon. The secret ingredient is lava and axlax. John began to think dirty thoughts. Wait, you can you can read my mind too? I'm the narrator. Yes, John. Stay focused. You're dead. I am Zelda. Also copyrighted? Jenna Proudmore. Nope. Princess Peach? Mm-mm. Fine, I'm Marie and I'm your gatekeeper and your totes dead AF. Whew. Damn, I would totally make tater tots on her neck. I, I I don't know what that means, but it's a good thing, I think. What else? Tater tots are greasy. You can feel pain in death? Yes, this is hell, Batch. Do you want to feel real pain? Ah! Well, this has been fun, but later, Batch. After John was defeated by the baby dragon, it was a full-grown dragon. No. It was a pretty mean dragon. Not even a little bit. Okay, well in my defense, it was a pretty... After John was defeated by the cute, fluffy, baby dragon, he set out to the town to find himself. Well, can I go back to the graveyard and have her find me? No, John. It's time to discover what sort of hero you will be. Type 1 for John to become a mage. Type 2 for John to be a warrior. And Type 3 for John to be a healer. Game! 